I took a Polaroid every day for 30 days to portray my life. So taking a Polaroid sounds easy, right? But being the perfectionist I am, I wanted every Polaroid to be both creative and meaningful. And doing this daily certainly didn't make things easier. So will I give up and buckle under pressure? Or will I be determined and complete my 30-day Polaroid taking journey? Let's find out. Here's Polaroid number one. Okay, so this goes out to anyone who has ever been in a long distance relationship or an LDR. So my girlfriend and I has been in a long distance relationship ever since February of 2022. My girlfriend stays in Singapore and I currently am studying in Sydney, Australia. So after one and a half years of being in an LDR, my girlfriend finally decided to come to Australia to pay me a visit. And just having her with me and just showing her the whole of Sydney was really, really enjoyable. So I guess this is why I decided to pick this special occasion to kickstart this Polaroid project of mine. So basically after picking her up from the airport, we went to a cafe in my school and that was where the first Polaroid was born. The distance between Sydney and Sydney Singapore is about 6,302 km away. So when my girlfriend came to Sydney, we basically closed the gap and that is why the first Polaroid is named minus 6,302 km. I finally met my family for the first time after being away from them for three months. So yes, just like my girlfriend, my family lives in Singapore and I live in Sydney. So after about three months, my family decided to come and pay me a visit. It's really great seeing any familiar face in a foreign land and what more than to see your own families. We went to a nearby mall to have breakfast and I wanted to commemorate this moment that we shared together with a Polaroid. My surname is Tan, T-A-N. I'm sure you know that the English pronunciation is also 10 and that sounds similar to the number 10. So that is why the name of this Polaroid is called Reunion, but the I and O is changed to 10. So it's a Reunion 10. Do you enjoy birthday surprises? I'm sure going up, you guys have definitely attended many birthday surprises. So it was my friend Falco's birthday. And Falco has been a really great friend to me over the past one and a half years in Sydney. And we all met up below his house. We got a cake. I was really happy because my girlfriend was there joining me. We surprised him at his house. Here are some reactions. Um, <laughs> Come on, Falco. Uh, something. Thank you, I guess. I'm not sure whether he knew, but I'm glad that he enjoyed himself. So, and since it's Indonesian, what better way to name this Polaroid than to have the word birthday translated into Indonesian? And that's why this Polaroid is called Uta. Happy birthday, Falco. Have you ever been on a road trip? So living in Singapore my whole life, road trips were basically non-existent because we were too small. So I knew when my family were coming over to Australia to visit me, we had to go on a road trip. We decided to drive down to this place called Hunter Valley, which is famous for being known as the birthplace of Australian wines. Although we didn't really spend much time drinking wine, we just went to this winery and it was nice the way how wines were made. But we basically spent most of our time eating and taking photos at the green spaces near the restaurant or the fields. And I decided that I really wanted to try out the self-timer on my Polaroid. This sounds very dim but because we went to a place called Hunter Valley, I decided to name the Polaroid of the day, The Valley. Do you think that graduation is overrated? I had my graduation ceremony for my uni degree this year and I really wasn't very looking forward to it. But in the moment when I finally put on my robe and my graduation cap and to really see the proud smiles of my family, I realized that all these years of studying was really worth it because I get to put a smile on their face. And in that moment, I felt a little sense of achievement. I still feel that graduation is overrated, but maybe less overrated now. Technically, I'm still in uni because I'm doing my master's. So I feel like I haven't really graduation yet, which is why I decided to name the poll right after the graduation you I absolutely hate my brother watch this video if you relate. So my brother and I, we have had a very interesting relationship over the years. We hated each other, we were each other's enemies, and growing up, he has always been the brother that is the better looking one. We always like different things, but as we grow older, we realized that we actually had more in common than we realized, and I think we really grew closer over the years, and even though I said at the start of the video I hate my brother, he has really grown to not only become my brother, but really one of my best friends, and I know that we got each other's backs. So yeah, I'm really grateful that he came down to Sydney, and it was kind of sad seeing him go. So my brother's name is called Matthew and he is being called Maddie, which is why I thought as an older brother, he was very apt to call this Polaroid of the day, Maddie. Have you ever heard of the three sisters living in the mountains? So my family and I took yet another road trip to the Blue Mountains and it was very, very nice. There were a lot of attractions at Blue Mountains and we immensely enjoyed ourselves even though it was kind of cold. But as we were on a lot of rides, we saw that there were these three particular mountains that kind of odd and we realized that they were called the three sisters. I realized that my mom has three younger sisters, which is why I wanted to portray my mom with her three sisters by standing in front of the mountains, which is why the Polaroid of the day is called three sisters.
Did you know that the Titanic exists right here in Australia? So basically, my family and I really wanted to take the ferry from Circular Quay, which we did. But while I was on the boat, I realized that I really wanted to replicate that iconic Titanic pose that I'm sure you guys are very familiar with. So I decided to ask my mom and dad to stand up. And as the ferry was approaching the Sydney Harbour Bridge, I managed to capture a very nice photo of my parents mimicking Jack and Rose from the very famous movie, which is why the Polaroid of the day is called Titanic. Have you ever heard of the phrase salute be familiar? So after you've done a translation from Spanish, it actually means cheers, my family. I first heard it when Vin Diesel said it in Fast and Furious. Salute me familia. Salute. And I think I really felt a sense of family in that movie. I think I reached a point in my life where I'm very appreciative of the loved ones in my life. And especially my parents because they're not getting younger anymore. And I'm very grateful that both my mom and dad came over to Sydney to find me and been very blessed to be able to show them my life in Sydney. And saying goodbye to them at the airport was really difficult, but I know that I'll see them again. So it's finally time to say bye. Thus, the follow of the day is called Tell Me Familiar. If you're currently in a relationship and you don't know what just because flowers are, don't worry. Let me tell you what it's all about. I guess often in life, whenever we have to do something, we always have to have a reason behind it. But sometimes in a relationship, it's fun to do some things without any reason and to do things just because. So when my girlfriend and I went to the grounds of Alexandria in Sydney, which is famous for their flowers display, and I figured that it was the right time to get my girlfriend just because flowers for the first time. Here's a short clip of how it went. Yeah. So I guess the lesson that I learned from this is that you don't need a reason to do something sometimes, especially in a relationship and even with the just because flowers, it doesn't have to be expensive but sometimes when you catch your partner or someone you care about off guard, you can be surprised how much money it can be for a person. So yeah, to commemorate the first and definitely not the last just because flowers I'll be getting from my girlfriend, the title of this photo is called Just Because. I own the biggest Groot collection in the whole of Sydney. I have been a fan of Groot ever since Guardians of the Galaxy first came out and I've been collecting the Funko Pop figurines for the longest time and it just so happens that Guardians of the Galaxy 3 released when I was doing this Polaroid project so I knew I had to include my Groots in this Polaroid project. My girlfriend and I went to watch the movie and we decided to bring two of my favourite Groots with me to the movie and I knew that I had to take photo of the Groots in front of the poster. If you have watched the movie, I'm sure you understand the title of this Polaroid and today's Polaroid of the day is called We Are Good. Do you have a happy place? So I'm sure all of you guys have a happy place. A place where other people may not understand but for some reason you feel so happy in it. My girlfriend's happy place is the supermarket. Okay, ever since I met her 7 years ago, I don't think I've ever seen her more happy than in a supermarket. So I knew that when she came to Sydney, we had to go grocery shopping. And it's safe to say, I think we had a lot of fun. So yeah, it's clear to say that although it's not my most happy place, it's definitely on my list of happy places because of my girlfriend's. So yeah, today's photo is called Her Happy Place. What's your happy place? Do you know that you can experience being an actual Mario Kart rider in real life? My girlfriend and I went go-karting for the first time in Sydney even though we got really beaten out by a lot of pros that we met. I think it was kind of enjoyable having first time experiences with my girlfriend. I don't think my girlfriend will go for it again because she kind of get a big giddy. But I think at the end of the day, it was a memorable experience for both of us. And I think there's no other way to experience being a Mario Kart rider in real life. You know the famous phrase in Mario that goes, It's me, the Mario! And since Cheryl, my girlfriend, me beat me and go-karting that day, I guess the portal of the day can be called It's me, Cheryl. Have you ever planned to go on a date but in the end just cancel all your plans just because you felt like staying at home? So I guess some days even though you make certain plans, you wake up and just feel like being a couch potato. So yeah, that's what happened to my girlfriend and I. We actually planned to go and town and take nice photos by the bridge and to have a nice date out. But I guess it was one of those days where we just decided, nah, I think we're good. It's fun to just stay at home and quality time can be really still spent at home. So instead of going out to have a whole day of fun, we just decided to stay home. And we just talked for a few hours at the good old days. I guess sometimes in life, we need to take a break. So that's why today's Polaroid is called Take a Chill Pill. I experienced the Phantom of the Opera right here in Sydney. Yeah, my girlfriend and I went to the Sydney Opera House and you can say we had a great time. Even though I guess the main reason people go to Opera House is to watch operas, I've only been there just to take photos and when I went with my girlfriend, there weren't any good operas playing that we were interested in. I'm just so shocked to see so many people at the Opera House just taking photos and it's fair to see why it's a tourist attraction. So yeah, if you're in Sydney, definitely do check out the Sydney Opera House. It's a sight like no other. And that's why today's photo is called Phantom of the Sydney Opera. 
Did you know that you can see through Sydney's eyes for just $33? So yeah, if you ever been to the Westfield in QBB, you notice that this very high tower that goes all the way up and it says Westfield, that's actually the Sydney Eye Tower. So my girlfriend and I actually went all the way up and I must say, I never realized how great Sydney actually looks from such high up. It's looking at things from over 309 meters can give you really a perspective of what the city can look like. And I would say that my girlfriend and I were really amazed. It was really nice seeing Sydney through its or her own eyes. And that's why the portrait of the day is called Sydney's Eyes. Saying goodbye is always truly the hardest thing, especially if you're saying goodbye to someone that you're in a long distance relationship. After spending about two weeks with my girlfriend in Sydney, I must say that being somewhere you love with the person you love the most is really enjoyable and I think that time passed by so fast and towards the end of it, I really couldn't believe that my girlfriend Cheryl was going back so soon and it was really nice experiencing Australia with her, the cold weather, the nice food, taking the light rail and just being in a foreign land. Saying goodbye to her at the airport was probably one of the hardest things that I have to do. Really can't wait for this LDR to be over, but we are stronger than this LDR. I guess for now, we just have to stick to FaceTime. And yeah, as you know, the distance between Sydney and Singapore is 6,302 km. And because Shara is left, I guess it's suitable to call the portal out today. Plus 6,302 km. I'll see you soon, Shara. I'm sure that we all have bad days or days when we feel like shit and I was definitely experiencing those days when my girlfriend left me I remember coming back to my room and feeling like wow I was feeling restless the whole day I don't know what I was doing and like I was just feeling like shit you know so yeah I guess now for us like one of those bad days and those sadder days that's why this photo of the day is simply called sad days one of the ways that I caught the sadness was definitely just keeping myself busy and that included really just joining myself in work. I remember that I was still affected, I was still sad, but keeping busy really just occupies your mind. And once you're distracted, at least for the working hours, you feel kind of better. I wanted to call this Polaroid coping days, but I guess to be honest, I was still feeling sad. That's why this Polaroid is called Still Sad Days. Have you ever wondered why you feel so much better about yourself after you just got a haircut? So after feeling the sadness of my girlfriend leaving Sydney for a couple of days, I decided that enough was enough and I realized that every time I got a fresh fade or a new haircut, I feel a lot better about myself and I decided that that was what I needed. So I dragged my ass to my nearby barber and I decided that it was time to get a haircut. And honestly, during the haircut, I really felt good about myself and I came back to my room feeling that the sad days are over and I guess I'm feeling good because I got a clean shave. So that's why the point wrap today is called fresh fit and happy days. If you guys haven't heard of Prime Hydration by popular YouTubers KSI and Logan Paul, I'm sure you guys are living under a rock. So ever since Prime Hydration was released right here in Sydney, I realized that I really wanted to collect all the Prime bottles. I really like the aesthetic of the bottle. And I really feel like when I'm collecting all those bottles, it really feels like I'm collecting the Infinity Stones. I really wanted to include the colorful aesthetic of the bottles in my Polaroid picture. So I took all my bottles, lay on the table outside, and I think I took a pretty aesthetically pleasing photo. Currently, I'm only two bottles shot from the full collection. So the Polaroid of today is called two shots or two shots yeah i'm not very good at coming up with titles have you ever been to the rainbow staircase right here in sydney if you haven't heard of the rainbow staircase actually right here in my university the university of new south wales and i find it just so intriguing that the colorful staircase is just right at the bottom that leads from the lower campus all the way up to the higher campus i wanted to include a polaroid that was similar to the rainbow road in my road and that's why i thought that this photo would add a lot of vibrance to my polaroid collection and that's why today's polaroid is called rainbow staircase this. I hung my Air Jordans on a basketball hoop to create the perfect Air Jordan Polaroid shot. So yeah, at this point of time, I was thinking, Polaroid 23, what number really resonates with 23? When I realized that 23 is the Air Jordan number, the famous number that Michael Jordan was wearing when he was playing basketball. So I decided to wake up early in the morning and I went down to my university's basketball court. I stood on a chair, I tied my Air Jordans on the basketball hoop and because the shoe was sort of suspended in mid-air because it was tied to the basketball net, I guess you can say that it's hung in mid-air and that's why today's Polaroid of the day is called and Jordan. My university clock tower doesn't tell the time. If you're a student studying in the University of New South Wales, you might have noticed that when you're working in the middle of the court and you look up and you see the clock tower, it doesn't really have the conventional mini or hand structure that tells the time. It turns out that it's actually a sundown clock tower that relies on shadows to tell time. I thought, why not take a nice shot of my university's peculiar clock tower? And in terms of how it came out, I think it's probably the best Polaroid that I've taken thus far. And because it's Polaroid number 24, that's why the Polaroid of the day is hours. Because there's 24 hours hours in a day. And for the UNSW students, this sundown is ours.
do you hate birthdays i don't know if you can tell but i spent 25 birthdays on this earth and at this point of time i really find that birthdays are overrated why if you receive an award if you receive a promotion it kind of feels special because it doesn't happen all the time but birthdays is something that happens every year on the same day and the best part about it is that it's not special to you everybody has a birthday but i guess at the same time it's one of the few times where you can show appreciation so when we celebrated my friend nana's birthday this year i was really reminded that it's not really the occasion but it's a small moment that you create with the person that you care about to show them they matter in your life when i celebrated her birthday it was really fun it was really enjoyable and because that happened to be the second indonesian birthday that i celebrated in this polaroid collection the polaroid photo of the day is called dua uta or second birthday I recreated the famous Beatles Abbey Road album cover with my Polaroid. I think the reason I really wanted to recreate this photo is because I think when the Beatles released this album in the late 60s or 70s, Polaroid picture will really suit the aesthetic of that period. So yeah, I get up my college friends right here on the University of New South Wales campus and I asked the four of them to walk on the road to sort of recreate this photo. I think two very prominent colors of UNSW is black and yellow. And black and yellow is also the prominent colors of a bee. And that's why today's Polaroid of the day is called The Beatles. I'm funny. Have you ever heard of the phrase, sky's the limit? Having lived in Singapore my whole life, I kind of feel that at some point, you probably can experience everything coming to Australia. I really feel that starting afresh and like making friends and like just living a new life really created a lot of opportunities for me. And one of the opportunities that I had is the fact that I was able to pursue my passion of videography as like a part-time job or like a part-time hustle during my university life. So yeah, if you don't know, I'm a videographer slash video editor for popular YouTuber, Jamie Zhu. I think with him, I feel that I was really able to express my creativity and like just working with like-minded people and just really express art in a very specific way it was very intriguing and i'm very honored to have the opportunity jamie and the rest of colleagues have been a really big blessing in my life and i really feel that because i've been given this wonderful opportunity the sky's really the limit and that's why today's polaroid of the day is called sky's the limit do you know what this is? So this is basically called an editor's timeline. This is a timeline in the video editing suite I use called Premiere Pro. So as you can see, a video editing timeline comprises of many blocks. Yes, at the end of the day, the viewers and most people just look at the video, but I think it's very satisfying to see the accumulation or the building of all the blocks to create the final product of the video. And I wanted to capture this timeline in my Polaroid project. I didn't manage to capture this perfectly because I don't think a Polaroid camera can really focus very accurately on the digital screen. So yeah, that's why today's Polaroid of the day is called timeline. Have you ever had a friend for more than 20 years? This is my friend Joel and I have known him ever since I was barely able to talk. So when you flew to Sydney, I knew I had to catch up with him and I brought him to Kevin's Diner and I think it was a very intriguing experience and I think he really enjoyed himself. And after talking to him for a few hours, I realized that there are some friends that are just gonna be in your life for a very long time and you really know where the friendship is really a true friendship. I'm glad to have known Joel for the past 20 years and I think that we're gonna be in each other's lives for a very long time and that's why today's Polaroid of the day is called Happy Tree Friends. So yeah, we come to the end of the project and for the last and 30th Polaroid, I wanted to take a Polaroid with the rest of my 29 Polaroids. 30 days really represents to me like one month's worth of commitment and that's why I bought a giant calendar to paste all my Polaroids and as I was pasting them, I was recounting the memories and I was thinking about the journeys I've been through to sort of creatively come up with these photos and just holding the physical photo in my hand. It made me realize that I think we really underestimate physical photos in this digital age that we all live in. These 30 days has been one that I think I think I will never forget about the rest of my life. So yeah, that's why for the last time, today's Polaroid of the day is called Project 30.